In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you 11 tools slash accessories that I use on a regular basis in my shop. I keep saying everything tools and accessories because the last time I did a video and titled it a certain way, people got angry and tried to argue with me that they weren't tools. But if I'm using it in my shop, it makes it a tool, doesn't it? I don't know. Tools and accessories. Hey everybody, welcome back. Jason with Ben's Woodworking. I get a lot of questions, especially during this time of year, I think probably because the holidays are coming, about specific tools that people see me use in my videos or over on Instagram. And the purpose of today's video is to highlight some of those things, answer some of those questions, and show you 11 new things that I haven't shown in other tool videos. And as I always do, I will leave affiliate links down below in the description if you wanna find out more information on any of these tools or if you should choose to purchase them for yourself. Now, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's go ahead and get into the first item. The first tool that I'm gonna talk about today is the Craig Foreman Pocket Hole Machine. And I've actually done a very detailed video on this. If you guys wanna find out more information about it, I'll go ahead and link it now. But as you can see here, the drill bit itself comes up from the bottom and is operated on this lever. And it makes very, very quick work of pocket holes. And if you're somebody that does a lot of cabinet work or pocket hole work, I would highly recommend this tool to you for sure. And the next item is the TSO Products Track Rail Square. And this is a very, very useful tool to have if you're somebody that uses a track saw. No, it does not have to be a Festool track saw as you see here. These uh, rail squares actually work with multiple brands of track saws, but it really just makes it easy to get a quick 90 degree reference and so you don't have to pull out any additional squares or anything like that. It's just a very, very useful tool. And there are some other companies that make them as well. Uh, more specifically, I know Woodpeckers just recently released one, which I own as well, but it's a great tool to have if you use a track saw. Item number three. Anybody that follows me on any of my social media platforms knows that I'm a very, very big fan of the Incra Tiny T. But I will say that this is definitely starting to give it a run for its money. And I use this for so many things. It's just so easy to use. It's so easy to transition from one measurement to another, uh, to mark straight lines as you see here, to determine the width of something, or also to set the height because it has a scale on the end. It is really just becoming a great tool and it's very affordable and I use it for a whole bunch of things in my shop. The next item are the Jessam Router Fence Guides. So these are very similar to what I use on my table saw, same company, and kind of the same principle as how they operate. If you guys wanna find out more about the ones I have for my table saw, I'll go ahead and leave a video here now. But essentially what these are is replacing the need for feather boards because it does two things. As you can see here, it's applying downward pressure onto the workpiece while also pulling the workpiece into the fence because of the rollers. The other great feature about them is that the rollers do not allow the material to move back. They're a great addition, makes using a router table much safer. Item number five is the Woodpecker Drill Press Table. And this table has been a huge lifesaver at my drill press. And one of the things I like about it is the adjustability and the ease of use and all the markings, the stops that come with it, as you can see I'm installing here. It was very easy to install and these stops come in very, very handy when I'm doing things like drilling out hinge holes or anything that I need to have continuous repeatable cuts. And as you'll see here, I'm using the stops right now because on each end, this is where I wanna place my hinges and being able to flip these up and then flip the other one down, slide my door, it comes in really handy, especially when I just got done doing 25 doors for my own kitchen. So item number six is this tongue and groove bit set. And it's something that I decided to invest in when I began doing a lot more cabinet related material and needed to produce more doors. Previously, I'd just been using a table saw, which I have an instructional video on, and it's a very easy, simple way to do it. However, when I'm doing a lot of doors, like on my current kitchen project, I wanted to have something that was gonna just make it a lot easier. And these bits are fully adjustable. This set specifically is a Freud tongue and groove bit set. It has made my life a lot easier when doing multiple doors. 
And since we're on router bits, I do want to recommend one more. This is item number seven, and it is a spiral flush trim bit. And the difference that you are going to get with a spiral bit as opposed to a straight knifed bit is absolutely incredible. Here you can see me using these templates uh, for the nesting chair that I currently built, which if you want to check out that video, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the corner now. But as you can see, it is effortlessly cutting the wood. It is actually throwing the chips away from the workpiece itself, which is very, very handy. You can get down cut, up cut. Also what you can see is just how clean and smooth the quality is of that cut. So I can take this bit, route out my template, have zero issues, get perfect results, and it has really, really been a very nice addition to my router bits. Item number eight is the Rockler Concealed Hinge Jig. Now, they make these in multiple different layouts to match the layouts needed for different Euro-style hinges that require hinge plates that will be installed inside of the cabinet. The thing that's great about this is that it takes all the guesswork out of it. It makes the installation really, really effortless, very quick, because all you have to do is mark a line on the cabinet itself and the door, you line this up, you drill the holes out that match the plate that you're using, and then you can go back and install that plate, and it's really that simple, comes out perfect every time. And like I said before, they do have various uh, different jigs that you can buy to match different hinges. Okay, for those of you that rely on use of the bandsaw a lot for say things like resawing, or just making a lot of cuts in general. These Carter Fast setup bars are extremely handy. As you can see here, they're magnetized and they come in different widths and the teeth actually go in that little gullet. Then what you do is you can take your fence and align your fence up with the blade so everything is parallel. And so this right here is the Carter fence system, the magnet fence system, and the two work really, really well together. They're very easy to use. Item number 10 is the True Position Tools TP1934. And the one that you see me using here is actually the 1934. They do have another model, the 1935, which is essentially just this with more pieces, which will also give you more capabilities. If you wanna find out more about this product, I'll leave a link to a video that I did up in the corner. Now, what this is, is a jig that allows you to quickly and accurately do repeatable hole locations for either drawer fronts or doors. And again, I just did a kitchen renovation project for my own home where I replaced over 20 doors and drawer fronts. And the use of this jig made the process of installing all of my door and drawer hardware effortless. It is a great tool if you are somebody that does a lot of installs of this kind of hardware. And the last item that I wanna share with you guys today is this Rangate Knot Filler Kit. Now. The reason I wanted to share this is because anytime I post about it on any social media platform, it brings up the most questions and the most conversation. I'm not going to go into detail on exactly how I'm using it because you can see that here, but think of it like this. It's essentially a hot glue gun, however the product is not hot glue. They sell multiple different things, I'll leave a link down below where you can go to the website, research it more. I'm showing it to you because I find it to be a very useful uh, product in a lot of different cases. It's also very, very fun to trim the product off of the material when you're done. And I'll leave a link to a video that I did featuring this up in the corner. Okay, everybody, so that is my list of 11 tools uh, that I use in the shop that I get a lot of questions about. I wanted to make sure that these tools were different from the previous tool videos that I've done, so it's not so redundant. If you guys have any comments or concerns, uh, I would love to hear it down in the comments section below. If you have any questions about these specific tools, something you think I didn't cover or you would like to know more about, please feel free uh, to leave a comment down in the comments section or shoot me a DM either here uh, by email or you can head over to Instagram and follow me there at Ben's Woodworking. Feel free to send me a DM and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. I hope you guys enjoyed the list. I hope you guys enjoyed the tools and accessories that I talked about here. And who knows, maybe now you have something additional to add to your Christmas list. That's all I have for you in this video, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Now get out in the shop, try something new, and I'll see you in the next video.